So hi guys, this is Code Forces round 832 and the problem is ban ban. So let's quickly understand the problem. So they, they will give you a number like uh, n equal to 1, 2, 3 or any number and they will also give you a string called as ban. So our job is to concatenate uh, this string ban n number of times. So n equal to 3 means ban becomes ban, ban and ban. Now what, what did they say further? You can choose any two indices, uh, swap it, swap the elements of that index any number of times. You can swap n and b, you can swap n and n, a and b any number of times. But at the result, what you have to do is uh, the subsequence should not contain the character band. So let's say, what is the subsequence? If you cancel certain characters after swapping, it should not contain the sequence band b a n here you can find a sequence right so that should not be possible how do we do it the number of swaps should be minimized such that the subsequence should be minimum so let's say for n equal to 1 b a n only one time we concatenate it so we can swap uh, this and this what happens n a b well done and n a b n a many number of possibilities so we can't derive any uh, standardized solution for this let's see what they have given so for n equal to 1 it can be multiple answer right if there are multiple answers we can output anything for n equal to 2 they gave 2 6 so uh, let's write down for n equal to 2 that is b a n and uh, b a n 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay they told 2 and 6 you can uh, eliminate so that is b n n b a and this a will come here now can you find a subsequence that is having b a n b a n is not there b n a a is not there so they are telling that for n equal to 2 the number of swaps will be only one with with one swap you will be able to create the sequence such that b a n subsequence is not there now let's do for n equal to 3 b a n b a n and b a n now we don't have anything in our hand but we know what to do so let's understand like what we have to do so you see it's b a n b a n b a n right we have to mess this up so with minimum number of swaps so let's see the last one b a n we don't want the n such that it will be incomplete right so this one will take and now b a n this also we need to mess up let's randomly assume to put b because n and n you can't swap here because b a n already will form a subsequence so let's randomly swap this n will come here a n b a n and this b will go here okay got it now can you find a subsequence yes you can find a subsequence now what you do you just swap this and this we are just doing everything randomly and on our assumption Okay, so now what we did, first and last we swapped and middle we swapped again. Now n equal to 4. We could not, still could not find a proper solution. Now we'll write for n equal to 4. Now, as per R3's logic, we try to derive, do the same here. We are trying to mess the first and the last. So n becomes n, a n, b a n, b a n, b a this b comes here and this n goes here can you find a subsequence yes you have two subsequence with two you will be able to mess up right with this also you need to swap how do we swap we do the same thing this n and this b you swap so this becomes n and this becomes this b here now can you find a subsequence n a n a n b a b a b b a n is not there and b b is present not present a n is there so you found a sequence here that is First and last, you swap it, then come inside. After this, uh, second and third, you swap it. If it's an odd number, we already saw that. If it's an odd number, you swap it within the words. Else, two words, you take it and swap it. And I'm not telling like this is the only method. You can do any method. Suppose you can do uh, like this one, these two together, together, anything. But uh, it might not be standardized or easy to code. So this is somewhat standardized. And again, how did I get this? This will be done only through trial and error. Uh, you have to try out like a lot of times, then you'll be able to get it. 
so uh, this is the solution to the problem then let's see how do we code it okay so uh, initially i took n because the input uh, they will give us n and what is count here how many uh, bans are there so like what i meant to say is in loop i need to know how many times i need to move forward right for each thing i move forward i take the last element first means last here four means a second uh, two times i have to go if it is five one two three four five means count should be three right i should go here 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 so if i take this i'll take the last if i take this i'll take this if i take this i'll take the same within words so that is count and start is one start always starts with one and how did i do this formula n by two n by two means what what did i say earlier for each word i take the last word second second last so there are n by two words if there are six i divide it like three three is the count now if it's an odd number we need to know right if it is five what is five by two two i come only up to this i need to catch this one also so i kept n mod two n mod two is what five mod two is one so two plus one that is three so this also is covered now n is three into n again why did i do that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. What is the relation between 12 and 4? It is 3 into 4. Again, what is the relation if it is only 3? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. What is the relation between n equal to 3 and 9? It is 3 into 3, 9. So, band contains 3 words. So, the last number will be always be 3. Since we are swapping n and the first number. Now, let's go through the code. So, count will be the number of times I am swapping it. That is for band, band and in the middle like that right that one so uh we take the start that is one here i'll show you the start is one and the end we have already derived it that is three into one and now start should be plus equal to three that means it goes to the next b value okay and the end is the negative b value that is from n one two three it goes to this one so if it is that it goes one end is 12 what is start plus equal to 3 means 2 3 4 it will be this one and next thing 11 10 9 that is n minus equal to 3 it swaps this one now uh, since the count is only 2 for n equal to 4 it gets finished if it is 5 it goes to b and next it goes to the end that is the same number so that's how we are deriving this and uh, we see that uh, i tried for like 4 5 and it's working and uh, you can just uh, submit this code so there are like multiple solutions but uh, this is something that is legible that with trial and error you will be able to get it so same code submitted before so it's actually done and uh, that's it guys thank you